Welcome to this session on installing Tivoli Workload Scheduler. Um, you've got a few things which you sort of need to be up and running first. You've got the, uh, the IBM DB2 which is the database and then we'll start installing uh, the, uh, the Workload Scheduler. It is a bit of a, uh, a few things that you have to do before you kind of get this up and running and uh, I'll walk you through those steps and then towards the end I'll uh, I'll show you how to make sure that it's running correctly. Um, so I'm going to split this up into a few videos, um, maybe two or three, and it's going to walk you through installing the workload scheduler. So I've got Windows 2008 server here, and I'm just going to log into the um, server now, and then we'll begin. So here we are logged into the server now and um, one thing that I'm just going to do for you is uh, I've already loaded the files on here. I've got the uh, DB2 which is the database and these are the setup files and uh, then I've got the master domain manager and, uh, and then I've got the dynamic workload console. So these three files will be install files which make up the installation of, of the complete Tivoli workload stitch scheduler. Um, it's currently on um, 9.4 so this is quite a old application to install and um, it's just kind of something that I did a while ago and it's, it's now a bit easier for me to get this up and running so I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I've only got access to the uh, to these files so this is the DB2 installation here and um, this is a prerequisite to get uh, the scheduler installed. So I'm going to run the setup file here and uh, once this begins I'm, uh, I'm going to fast forward the video so you don't have to sit through all of this and this is the uh, this is the bit I had to install it. All right, so uh, it's just taking a few minutes just to sort things out, but it's coming up now. And uh, what we're going to do is just have to find out um, a few things maybe along the way, and we'll just accept all these kind of license agreements. And we just want the typical database installation here. This is be sufficient. And here, what I'm going to do is just um, have a look at the response file, which is kind of the the record of what it installs and how it installs it and where it installs it to etc and I'm just going to save that because it's quite important to if you get run any problems you can refer back to this uh, response file and it'll tell you all the port numbers and what the server names called and just things like that which really sort of sometimes you need to have a look at and um, it's not easy to find this information out um, once you've done the installation so if you save the response somewhere that you can refer back to at a later date um, this is just the the path of uh, where to put the database and uh, this is the password now what I've found is that you know to make the password work on this uh, you need some uh, uppercase some lowercase some numbers and uh, and then you want a sort of a wild card or a pound sign or a, a a star or something like that in this as well. So it needs to be quite a secure password, even just to get past this stage here. So I'll just uh, type that in and uh, let's see if this will get going. Okay, just confirm that, and just confirm that. I uh, don't want any notifications being sent uh, 
to me this is just a test environment and uh, I'm going to confirm this as well this is just all a, a standard installation this tells you pretty much what the response file will tell you um, the key things to remember here is you've got the port number which is 50,000 and sometimes the service name db2c underscore db2 is uh, important to remember as well so I'll just finish that and uh, while this gets cracking I'll uh, I'll fast forward the video and I'll be back to you as soon as it kind of gets towards the end okay thank you Okay, so welcome back. Uh, that's now uh, the setup is complete for the uh, DB2. Um, just having a look down here really tells you pretty much everything that should be in the response file. And uh, I'm just going to confirm that as being a next. And I don't want to in include the, uh, the database add-ins for Visual Studio. So I'm going to finish this here. At this point we are actually installed the the database server but I would like to include the uh, create a sample database because it's always nice to have a little bit of data to play around with in the future so I'm going to do uh, create the sample database this is optional but um, I like to have a little bit of a database to play with okay that's going to take a while as well and uh, I'll meet you here at the uh, end of this uh, sample database installation okay so that's now complete and I'm going to uh, confirm that by pressing the OK and uh, that completes the DB2 installation as preparation for the Tivoli workload scheduler um, installation I'll meet you uh, back here in part two thank you